Psalms 121. A song of degrees like Psalm 120. I read about that last night. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Now this psalm points to the second advent of the Lord Jesus Christ. It points to a salvation, a restoration, a, a fulfillment of joy that Israel had. He says, I will lift up my eyes upon the hill. Well, they didn't lift their eyes upon the hill of Calvary. And if the place that we think, Revelation 12, that God has prepared for the nation of Israel is Sale of Petra, that's in a valley with hills and mountains. And the time they'll go out to get food, as the Bible said, Maybe one of those times they go out and get food. Here comes their Messiah. From whence cometh my help? And the help is God. The help in the Old Testament is God. The help that's in the church age is God. The help that's in the millennium. I mean, the help that's in the tribulation is God. And the adventure great hope of help for the nation of Israel when Jesus Christ is on that horse coming back to give Israel that new birth, to give them the new heart, to give them their land, and to cast the enemies of God in Israel into outer darkness. And the help is they've been going through seven years of the Antichrist, seven years with a death threat. And not only threat, but actual event listen when the when the antichrist puts the wanted poster out for israel it's not going to be dead or alive we just want them dead that's what mordecai that is out of hitler and though the name of god is not mentioned in esther you do find god And God helped the Jews through the Esther. God helped the Jews through World War II. And God, Jesus Christ, is going to help the nation of Israel at the end of the seven-year period. My help cometh from the Lord. That's God, Jehovah, which made the heaven and earth. So there is one Lord prescribed by the psalmist. Is it the Lord of the Islam? Allah didn't make nothing. Is it the Lord of evolution? The Big Bang was never a bang. Is it the Lord of Mary? Mary, sorry, she gave birth to Jesus, but that's all she done. And what sets apart God Almighty and Jesus Christ? is the one that created the heaven and earth that the jehovah witnesses avoid the help of the jews is the is the is the lord jesus christ and the lord jesus christ is also the creator of the heavens and earth he god will not suffer thy foot to be moved once he plants them in the land of the king of the king and the lords of lords they're not coming out. Heaven and earth will pass away. Then the Jews will get the new earth. A glorified, holy, righteous, undefiled, uncursed earth. And they'll be there forever. He, God, that keepeth thee, will not slumber. We don't have a God that sleeps. Now, when Elijah was, was tormenting the, the priests and prophets of Baal, come on, cry aloud, maybe your God sleepeth. And yet, our God did sleep at times. In the flesh of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible records he slept on the back of a boat. But that's God in the flesh. Now that God, Jesus Christ, is sent to the right hand of the Father, he'll never sleep again. 
But in the flesh, to know, I know pain, I know sorrow, I know trouble, I know anger, I know death, I know tears, I know, I know what it is to sleep. I know Jesus was be saying, I know what it was like to visit a funeral. But as God in heaven, he'll never sleep again. Behold, he that keepeth Israel. Get off Americanism. This book is about one group of nation of people, Israel. He that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. And that's God that keeps Israel. God is not asleep during the time that Israel is asleep. As a nation, but not as an individual. And in during the time of Jacob's trouble, the chastisement of the nation of Israel, God is not asleep. God sends 144,000. God sends Moses and Elijah. The Lord is my keeper. Someone that keeps. And he'll keep the nation of Israel. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. And the burning heat of, of, of the desert. And the burning heat of, of the land of Israel. A desert climate of area. It is hot. God says, I'll be your shade. And a lot of times you find in the Old Testament and you find in the New Testament, there are people that they'd be found sitting underneath a tree. Nathan L. or Nathan was sitting underneath a tree when Andrew brought him to Jesus. Re uh, 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 Deborah was sitting underneath a tree. It's a place of shade, of heat. And God says, I'll be that tree. I'll be your shade. I'll protect you. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. That's found in Revelation 7.16. Look at Revelation 7.16. I don't read the Old Testament. Sally, shut up. No, I'm not going to shut up. Because you're missing a lot. And if you don't study what we just read, oh, Revelation is my favorite book. Well, Revelation 7, 16. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light upon them, nor any heat. Look at verse 14. I said, Sir, thou knowest. He said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulations and have washed their, washed their robe made with the white with the blood of the Lamb. This is a passage in the millennium. When the Jews are in the land, they're before the Lord Jesus Christ. They are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. That sun in the millennium ain't going to give you a sunburn no more. People ain't going to get half naked or all naked and lie out before. There'll be no more bail in the sky. There'll be no more sunrise service. To Baal and not Jesus Christ. Sunrise service is against in the Bible of Ezekiel. It's to Baal, not to Jesus. Nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. That's not present. Israel's getting a lot of evil. As a matter of fact, at the time you may be hearing this, at the time we may be doing this right now. There may be missiles going over into Israel. There may be a suicide bomber in Israel. There may be somebody opens up with an AK-47. An army may be coming in Israel right now. The Antichrist is going to go in Israel. And he's going to attack. He's going to come in with peace. Then he's going to attack. But once the Lord Jesus Christ sits his throne where David's throne is and the nation of Israel and the temple and the priests and all doing what God has prescribed to be protected from evil. He shall, he shall preserve thy soul. Israel preserves to put up. I get some strawberries. I don't want them to rot. I want to make them last. I'm going to 
do what I need to do. I'm going to put them up to be preserved. The Lord shall preserve again by going out and I coming in from this time forth. Not the time that the psalmist is writing. Because I don't know when the psalmist writes this, but there's a time that Babylon comes and they're uplifted. There's a time that Titus comes in 70 AD and they're uplifted. But when Jesus Christ comes, they're not going to be uplifted anymore. They'll be moved from the, from the old curse earth to the new earth. This time forth and even forever more eternal forever the new heavens and new earth and new Jerusalem there it is so you can't look at this psalm and say oh this is the time of the psalmist no not the time of the psalmist it's prophecy and if you don't read your Old Testament you're missing prophecy especially the book of Psalms I know people have their favorites. This psalm is for when I'm crying. This psalm is for I'm lonely. This psalm is when I stub my big toe. And this psalm is... Uh, what's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, 1st King, 2nd King, 1st Chronicles, 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah? Well, what are all those books for? By every word. And when Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, Jesus quoted that verse to the devil. Now what's much more for his Christian? There's wealth of gold nuggets in all the Bible. 